Hey, hey, everybody, this is Dr. LaDre Weathersby, your Better Life Coach, coming to you with today's Better Life Moment. And hey, this is the last installment of these financial tapeworms. Uh, when I tell you I have completely enjoyed myself, and if you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have, then please let me tell you about the December 28th Better Life Business and Entrepreneur, Entrepreneur in, Intensive. It's going to be held here in Atlanta, Georgia. Ah, if you think this was good, and listen, I'm not that good. But I'm getting, I'm getting the chance to pull together some experts to help talk about the systems for business, talk about the mindset to do business, uh, going to talk about branding and advertising your business, I'm going to talk about networking because networking is still a huge thing. And then last but not least, uh, we're going to talk about fitness and health as a business owner because, yeah, trust me, if, if you're in business or you want to be in business, if you decree, uh, declared and hope that 20 20 will be the year that business comes full circle for you or that you take business to the next level you want to be in the room. So definitely go to the Facebook page for Better Life Institute to get more information about that. And then also be a lookout on the lookout for the release of information for Better Life Retreat Weekend, uh, MLK Weekend 2020 in January. Oh, my God. I've got more experts um, that I get a chance to bring to the room to help us make 2020 the very best year of our lives. All right. With that being said, hey. Uh, wealth tapeworm number 10 it is very simple bad deals i know we've talked about some of the things that take money out of our lives on a consistent basis uh, but sometimes the root of that is what i call a bad deal now in my history in my story i did a bad deal because i bought an extra car when i kind of really shouldn't have not because i couldn't afford it at the moment but it put my my income here and my bills were almost here, which meant that if anything went wrong and it was a BMW, by the way, man, it caused hell in my life. But sometimes it's not just the fact that we bought too much, uh, but sometimes you have to buy things. And when you have to buy something, you should always go for the best value for your money. Now, if you're like me and you like what you like, then you get what you like. I understand it when you can afford it. But at the same time, if you've got a, okay, I'll tell you another quick story. Um, I had to go to Utah, Salt Lake City, Utah, for a conference, and uh, the flight on Southwest from here to Salt Lake City and back round trip was five hundred and fifty-eight dollars. Well, because I know how to shop, because I teach how to shop, I did what I do. I found a one-way ticket to Salt Lake City for one hundred and sixty-eight dollars. I got a ticket from. Uh, Salt Lake City to LA for eighty dollars. Then the ticket of home was one hundred and twenty-seven dollars. So I spent three hundred and seventy bucks or so, give or take, to do the exact same thing I would have done anyway, which is go from here to Utah. That was a good deal. But here's the thing: it's not always about price. A bad deal is not always about price. Sometimes it's the shipping charges that are outrageous. Sometimes it's the warranty that is outrageous. Like, man, why am I paying? double the cost of the item for a warranty. Other times it's a bad deal because the interest rate is not right. And hey, a lot of times nobody teaches you this. Yeah, you know uh, that a higher interest rate for two years is not the same as a lower interest rate for seven years. Yeah, yeah, it's a bad deal. And there are things that you can do to make sure that you maximize the deal you have. And going forward, you don't pick a bad deal. You always pick the best deal possible. So if your interest if you like the idea of that, do me a favor, click the link above or beneath, depending on where you're watching the video, and, and click the link and schedule a call. Hey, let's see how we can help you to get some other education, uh, some other information, some other skills, so that the money you spend is not on a bad deal. Hey, I want to be able to say every time I make a decision, I made the best decision possible. That means it supports my life. It, it, was, it was the best I can do. You know, I can't go back and let her say, man, I should have done better. It was the very best I can do. And that's why I can always say that when life is pretty good, a better life is always best. Blessings to you. I look forward to talking with you soon. Schedule that time, and we'll be in touch soon. Have a great one. Bye-bye.